Here we go. So good. <laughs> oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> now this would be good if we made a meat cake. <laughs> because you could put gravy, mashed potatoes. I think I'm gonna make two cakes. One cake is gonna be a multi-layered checkered cake, and then I'm gonna do a multi-layered candy cake. Copper Chef Perfect Cake Pan. I'm Eric Thies here for the Copper Chef Perfect Cake Pan. Chef Eric really sold me on this one because it's not just any cake pan. It makes three different types of cakes. Two different magic middle inserts. All with one little cake pan. You're gonna be able to add some sizzle to your cake. <laughs> he uses that line in the infomercial. For you to add some sizzle to your middles. I think he also says something about add some sizzle to your middles. <laughs> I wonder if he read through that script and was like, I'm not saying sizzle. I'm not saying that. It brings a couple of inserts, which I thought, okay, I want to make a checkered cake. That's gonna be the best one. Magic middle pocket insert and the checkerboard cake cutter insert. Really, they're not pockets. They're just like little indentations because pockets are like, <laughs> right? Like, like a secret pocket. It's not a pocket if it's just sitting on top, just like a little opening but he calls it a pocket. You've got eight pockets to fill with delicious treats. The cake that really got my attention was the checkered cake because those look so cool when you cut into them, but the pocket cake, they were really looking for all kinds of ways to make that into a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say, y'all should have just cut that out of the infomercial because it looked kind of silly. Pudding, jello, your cheesecake. He gave the example of a meatloaf. <laughs> A meatloaf cake. Plus, it's not just for cakes. Make a meatloaf with pockets of mashed potatoes and... <laughs> they ran out of ideas that day. Meatloaf cake, and then in the little pocket, the little indention, they added mashed potatoes. <laughs> Could you imagine serving that to your family for Thanksgiving? They're gonna be like, where the hell did you come up with a meat cake? <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Did you run out of ideas or were you watching Chef Eric's infomercial? <laughs> Both. <laughs> As you guys know, these copper pans are all non-stick, so that's a good thing because that infomercial, did you see that crazy lady with her cake? <laughs> Don't you hate it when the cakes you love stick to the pan? She's tore up that cake because it's stuck. Ooh, he gave me a recipe book. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Chef Eric. Oh, this is what I want to make. Do you see it? It's a layered cake with candy inside. So here I have all the cakes and I have candy and I have frosting and I have sprinkles. I have everything to make a badass cake. I think I'm going to make two cakes. One cake is going to be a multi-layered checkered cake. And then I'm going to do a multi-layered candy cake. Does he have the meatloaf recipe in here for us? He better because that was genius. Oh, he sure does. <laughs> there it is, everybody. The meatloaf cake. Chili sizzling in cornbread middles. The packet insert is great for breakfast, lunch, desserts, and dinners. You can make a frittata with salsa. <laughs> See, here they really ran out of ideas. This is a tortilla and guacamole cake. Get the hell out of here. So it gives you a little chart so you know all the different things you can make. It looks like it's just like instructions on how to use it. It's a damn pan. I just need the recipe book. Here we go. Ooh, this is the extra piece that I'm going to love. Hey, that's pretty big too. Look how big this is. Oh, here's our magic middle. Secret pockets. Simply place it on the bottom of the pan, you fill it with any cake mix, and when the baking's done, just flip it out. I think that's cheesy, I don't wanna use that, but we will, we have to. Hey, that's a great size of a pan, huh? Now this set was $14.99. I think that's a little overpriced, don't you? I think $9.99 would've been perfect for this because you're getting this nice cake pan and this. I don't know how much this costs. You could probably get this on Amazon for like two bucks, right? So it might not be a great price, but, 
I'm gonna make the most beautiful checkered cake. That's what I wanna start with because that's gonna be exciting. When people cut into it, they're gonna be like, I didn't know she was a designer of cakes. Yeah, she is. The instructions are pretty easy. You're gonna make two cakes, one white or yellow, and then one chocolate, which I have here. Then after that, you're gonna let them cool. Then you're gonna cut out the middle. Well, who showed you in the infomercial look? Cut out the middle. Put the chocolate middle in the vanilla ring and the vanilla middle in the chocolate ring. Look, a perfect double layer checkerboard cake. I think we'll do a four layer cake for the checkered cake and a four layered yellow cake stuffed with jelly beans. That's a plan. If these two types of cakes and even the pocket cake, if those work out, then we will add it to the catering menu. In the beginning of that infomercial, he does brag about how this is non-stick. Remember the lady? Don't you hate it when the cakes you love stick to the pan? I don't want mine sticking, but since it's non-stick, should I still spray it with non-stick spray? Or no, should we test it without? They do the cheese test. Her cheese simply lifts away. Which cheese is full of oil. That's always the stupidest test when they do these non-stick demonstrations for us because we're like, uh, I see the oil, stupid. <laughs> That's what I would say. So for our first cake, I'm not going to add any type of cooking spray. I just want it to come out perfectly and it's probably gonna work because it's a brand new pan, but that's how we're gonna test it. So I guess I'll be baking the entire day because this is a lot of cake, right? And then we have to let them cool down. Okay, so we're gonna start with the chocolate. Three eggs. One, two, three. Oh, three. <laughs> oh no, did I get shell in there? That's the worst. A fourth cup of cooking oil. One cup of water. This cake smells so delicious. He hooked me with that checkered cake. The other stuff was stupid, but that checkered cake, didn't it look good? Here we go. So good. <laughs> Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> oh no, y'all saw that. How embarrassing. You're gonna question my authority now. <laughs> oh no. I'm not cutting it either. No, that just happened to you. I got chocolate all over me. This is baking. Welcome to the baking show. <laughs> oh no, I got chocolate all over the place. Here's a trick I learned. You go like this. <laughs> This is my cake, okay? And my hands are clean. So don't say nothing. But the trick is to shake it to even it out. Is that a good trick? Or do that. Get the air bubbles out. I'm nervous now that I'm looking at it because it has no oil or nothing on here. Don't mess up my cake because I have exactly two chocolate and two vanilla cakes to make my checkered cake. Now, Shower and in the oven for 30 minutes. Our first four cakes are done. We still have other cakes baking, but I thought we would go ahead and start with the checkered cake, right? That's gonna be the coolest one. In my opinion, well, that's a lie. I think the one stuffed with jelly beans is gonna be good too. So for this one, you're gonna need your little cutter so we can cut the centers out and I have cooled them down completely, just in case you didn't know that you should do that for a cake. Okay, so I'm going to center this thing right in the middle of the cake and just push it down for all of them. That's as hard as this is gonna get, you guys. Your family is gonna be impressed when you show up with a checkered cake. Now, my only question was, do I need to put frosting in between the layers? In the infomercial, that kind of looked kind of tacky to me. Checkerboard cake. Look weird. I don't know if it was his cake or what, but I want it to be clean, little squares, like perfect. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm not a professional baker. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> So right down the center. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> Don't ruin my cake. Okay, now what? Do I twist it or anything? No, I just pull it out, right? <gasps> here we go, here we go. <gasps> oh, oh. 
going to put it over here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Careful. <gasps> okay, wait, there's a center I need. How does it look? Do you love it? Let me try and take out the middle one out. Oh, I didn't cut it all the way through. Can I put it this way? Let me push it through. Oh no, see? My squares aren't gonna be beautiful because this is, <laughs> this is my first time. I'm saying I'm pretty good for the first time. <laughs> There's our first three layers. Put them to the side. Now I will repeat that step for the other three. A little pro tip, make sure that that shit goes all the way to the bottom because it's not. You gotta have it on a flat surface so you can push it all the way through. Do you see it there? Kind of coming through? Okay, I'm not impressed with this little cutter thing because I feel like it's not, oh wait, there we go. See, I don't wanna push this one through. That's how you do it. Push that one through. There's one layer. It's a little messy, okay? And then this one, how do we take it out? <laughs> Push it through. <gasps> Look at that beautiful cake. This one's kind of off center, but that's okay. It's still gonna taste the same. You see, this one's not exactly in the middle. For this one, I did it kind of upside down. I don't know how to explain it. I didn't flip the damn cake like the other ones. Oh no, flip it. God dang it. Oh no. Oh, I can still save that though. Don't throw that away. Uh -uh. <gasps> oh no. You can still put it together. My circle fell apart, but you can glue that with frosting. Everybody knows that. This cake gave me trouble from the get. This is the one that was falling apart on me. There's the centerpiece. Okay, our final, why is this cake falling apart? The chocolate one came out perfect and this one. Oh, is this a white cake and this is a yellow cake? I think so. This one's too soft. This one's nice and firm. I don't know what happened to that disaster. Last one, ready? One, two, three, go. And you gotta go fast, I think. If you go slow, you're tearing up the cake and you might not be advised to pick them up, but you can see that it's not going all the way through, so I wanna make sure that it cuts the damn cake like it's supposed to, okay? You see, the chocolate one is nice and firm. Maybe you're not supposed to pick it up to look through it like I'm doing because there it is. <laughs> I'm not impressed, Eric, with this little thing because it's not cutting all the way through. I'm having to do a lot of manual work here. And for $14.99, I needed that shit to come right out of there. Okay. Push. Okay, you got it. Now we can start stacking. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm not putting frosting in between them because I don't want them to look ugly. <laughs> Do you see what I got? Another pro tip that I may have skipped is, are you supposed to level them? I felt like if I leveled them, then they're gonna get all crumb, like they're not <laughs> crumbled up. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to level them, but I didn't. I wanted my checkerboard to be perfect lines. That was the reason I didn't cut it. I don't know if that was right or wrong. Layer one, now we need a white center layer. And we're gonna do this one because it's falling apart. You gotta go fast. Put it in. <gasps> oh my God, look at my cake. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now we need the chocolate center. You see it? Looks good. Our chocolate center. Oh my God. <laughs> like a glove. My cake is so good. Do you understand how much I'm gonna charge for a checkered cake? This is gonna be my signature cake. Layer number two, which needs to be a vanilla cake. We'll do this one because it's making me nervous. It already fell apart, so I'm just gonna grab it like this. Oh. See, I'm not putting frosting on it. Is that right or wrong? Tell me. I'm just gonna say it doesn't matter. 
Does it matter? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I hope it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, chocolate. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's gonna be fine. Maybe if I hold it together with toothpicks. No. Now, the center right there. And I'm gonna do it upside down because that side's ugly. Look at that. <laughs> it fits like a freaking glove and I love it. Ta-da! Now a chocolate layer. I need it over here. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Do you love it? Look at my beautiful cake. Now a white. Okay, why is that one? <laughs> why is that one sticking up a little bit more? I don't know, but I'm gonna squish it down like a sandwich. Oh, don't squish it down because you're gonna don't squish nothing. You just place it gently. Okay, a chocolate center. <laughs> Wait, Vivian, this is so good. <gasps> okay, <laughs> it almost. Busted, but I saved it. I feel like if I flip it, it'll be on a better side. Oh, you better not. Chocolate, and then our last centerpiece. Why are we uneven these days? We were so good, it was fitting in there so nicely, and now we're like a little wobbly, a little cracked. Story of my life. <laughs> okay, last center, and I'm gonna put it in upside down like that. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Do you love it? Now, should we cut into it? Did I do too many layers? I guess is the question. Maybe a two layer cake would have been enough, but Vivian does the mostest. So here we are with a freaking four layer cake. I'm gonna say, let's just cut into it. Ah! Okay. Is everybody ready for the big reveal? Now, I wanna get a good corner. Okay, right here. Ooh, this knife was barely gonna make it. Okay. If this works, am I a certified baker? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I gonna make your next wedding cake? Ready, steady. <laughs> Look at it. That's how much I cut right there. <gasps> oh, she's a chef. Oh no, the cake fell. <laughs> Jed, I ate it. <laughs> so before I show it to you guys, genius, okay? Number one. Number two, I told you I wasn't gonna put frosting for a reason, and you're gonna see why in a second. Close your eyes. Ready? Close your eyes. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Ta-da! <laughs> Do you love it? It's beautiful, look at that. Made by the one and only Vivian Trice. <laughs> you can charge at least $600 for this cake. I'm telling you. Add it to the menu, folks. That is a badass cake. My only complaints about this little thing is, I think it has to be deeper because it's not cutting my layer all the way through, but for the most part, it will work. Now to our second cake. Let me get the frosting or icing, whatever you wanna call it. I call it frosting. Some people call it icing. I wanna get the icing ready because I saw a little hack on Instagram that said, if you whip your icing, it will actually put air into it. Is that the way to say it? Pumps air? I don't know. It whips it up to double the size. I don't know if it's true, but I thought I would give it a try so that we could put a little bit of icing on top with our sprinkles. I don't wanna to put too much icing on the cake because that's gonna take me another four years to do. I've literally been baking cakes with my husband practically all day, almost four hours. Just imagine, one pan, and eight cakes. So yeah, all day, all day. Let's try this little hack first. I'm just gonna open one. I wanna see how much it makes for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Did you know 
that at Sam's Club, I don't know if they still do it, but at Sam's Club, if you're a caterer or I think anybody really, doesn't matter if you're a caterer or not, if you like to bake, you can buy a giant tub of buttercream. <laughs> That's a good video, I need to do a video. What can I put a whole tub of buttercream on? <gasps> the biggest cake ever. What if I did a wedding cake? Should we try a wedding cake together? That would be fun. I would need a whole tub of buttercream for that. That's how much I have. Let's see if whipping it up is going to give me double the volume. Ready? Okay, I'm done. What do you think? I think it helped a little bit, but I don't know about double the volume. It may have given me like 10% more, but not double. So let's put our frosting in and just have it ready. Ooh, look at that. Don't they charge you more at the store if you buy it whipped too? It does feel like there is more in there. It feels very fluffy and airy. Look at that. When I first took it out, it felt really dense. What a cool little trick. I think I'll do that from now on. It's an extra step, but... I like it. I like the way it makes it feel. It's really soft. Just leave it there waiting for us. If you remember the first part of the video, we talked about three types of cake. We talked about the checkered cake. We talked about the candy stuffed or candy filled cake. And then we also talked about the pocket, the secret pocket, the magical pocket. Remember he talks about his pocket in that video. Okay. So what I thought I would do, even though this is a jelly bee filled cake, I thought I would use this on the top layer. That way I have my little pockets to put frosting in. Isn't that a good idea? So the rest of the layers will have jelly beans and then the top layer will just be my pockets. I don't know how to take, oh, there you go. Came right off. Ooh, look at those pockets. Hey, that looks nice. Okay, I like that. At first I was making fun of him. I still don't think you should make a meat cake. Tacky, do not take that to, <laughs> don't you dare take that to a potluck because you're gonna look crazy. But cornbread or maybe a cake like this with whipped cream or fruit filling, that's a good idea. So that is the top layer. We're just gonna move that to the side. We're gonna start with this thing again, we're gonna push it through and I don't want the opening for the jelly beans to be this wide, the bigger circle. I want it to be this one. So even though I'm gonna push it through, I'm only gonna remove the center hole and that's where I'm gonna put my jelly beans. Otherwise, there's gonna be too many jelly beans. Oh, don't you break on me now. We're so close to being done. You know what that would be cool for? If we did some kind of custard or something in there? Now, whipped cream. Ooh, what if we did whipped cream in between those two? I bet that would be yummy. Some kind of like filling fruit. Oh, yes. Now this would be good if we made a meat cake. <laughs> because you could put gravy, mashed potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> make a roast. Put all your vegetables inside the layers. Don't steal my idea. Now we're gonna place this guy back in the center like that. Repeat two other times. You see, if the opening was that big, how many jelly beans would be in there? It's too many, you're gonna have a sugar coma. If you're a professional baker, thank you for watching the masterclass. <laughs> I'm saying the masterclass in the last two videos because what's going on here? Why don't you fit now? Because that's the new trendy word now. Have you noticed the YouTube freaking commercials? All they do is talk about this damn masterclass. No, YouTube, I don't wanna watch a masterclass on how to be an astronaut. There was one for a farmer though. Have you seen that guy? That one was interesting. Nobody else was interesting to me. Now don't throw away the pieces of the cake. Look at that. You can make baby cakes out of that. Give them to your neighbor. Be like, hey neighbor, I thought about you. Made you a cake. <laughs> okay, one more and then we're ready to fill with our candy. Okay, I keep smushing it down. I, that's probably a no-no as well, but oh well. Okay, <laughs> you can't see it. I can't flip it, it's gonna fall. Ready? 
Oh, okay. At least one more or half of one. So one and a half of these for a four layer cake. Yeah. And say, cause this one doesn't have a hole. No, this has icing on top. Look at it. Oh my God. And then we're going to cut it. You guys, <laughs> jelly beans are going to fall out. What a mess. <laughs> Here's a recommendation that I did not follow, but I think you should follow is level them because that's why it kind of looks kind of lopsided. <laughs> Last layer to seal the top. Oh no. <laughs> I should cut the top of this one. Is this allowed? Is this a no, no? <laughs> Listen, this is my bake shop. I do what I want here. Level. So it sits flat on top. They sell tools to do this. I did it freehand. You saw it. A little bit more on this side. Oh, don't worry. None of this cake is going to waste. This house is gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner cake, cake, cake. <laughs> Everybody's gonna eat cake for the next week and a half. And it's good cake too, because I made it. Okay, now I think it's gonna be a little bit better. Boom. Nope, still the same. I mean, it's a little bit better. Let me see. <laughs> oh no. How do I fix that? Professor, where are the professors of the master class? Because I need y'all's help because I don't know. Do I need a little brush to brush off all the crumbs? Now we're gonna take our piping bag and we're going to fill our pockets with icing. Oh, I'm gonna do it like that. <gasps> Way Vivian. I don't, it doesn't look like anything. Oh, is this one of these satisfying videos? Yep. Watch me decorate. Hey, I got a technique going here. <laughs> oh, do you love it? Beautiful. It's a little lopsided. This one I'm gonna have to give away for free because I can't charge for a lopsided cake. That's tacky. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The pockets are kind of cute, especially if you do it like this. Look at it. Can you see it? <laughs> do you love my pockets? It's beautiful. It's Easter grass with Easter bunny things on it, Easter eggs. You know what would be crazy? If I submit an application to be on Cupcake Wars and I won the whole thing. Do they still have that show? I, don't know. I think they do, but I wanna be on the Great British Cake Off, Bake Off, something like that. <gasps> I wanna be on that show. I need to go back to the UK. I miss it so much. Ugh, but with this fungalitis going around, who knows when I'll be able to go back. But I'm going back as soon as I can book that plane ticket. I'm going back to London, baby. Ta da! Okay, I'm done. I'm cutting it exactly where my pockets are. Oh, it almost fell. I almost dropped it. I'm trying to get the right angle on the camera so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. Oh no, they fell apart. See, this is why you need frosting to hold the layers. What does it look like? What does it look like? Let me see it. What is it? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Ew. Did it all fall out? I'm going to have to cut one of the pockets out. Half of it. Oh. How does it look? Let me see. Did I? <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Are you impressed? Vivian did that. I love it. It. So this part was a little disappointing, but I still loved it. I mean, look what I was able to make. The pocket piece is kind of cheesy, but I feel like they just threw it in just to make it a little bit more exciting, but I would probably never use this again. And I sure in the hell will never make a meat cake. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Copper Chef Perfect Cake Pan three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.